Hi, this is a quick video on how to assemble an M3-2331 frame. First thing you want to do is unpack your frames and what you're going to have in your box are your bolts and washers, your corners, and obviously your rollers. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find that you have these black bolts. And what's unique about these black bolts, if this is the first time you've used a roller frame, is that they're black because they're already pre-baked with a C5A anti-seize lubricant. For those of you that have used uh, our frames in the past, they used to come as a stainless steel bolt and that needed to uh, actually be coated with the C5A lubricant. But we've since done away with that, so now it's easy. If they are black, they are pre-baked with the anti-seize and uh, you are not to put any, uh, any kind of anti-seize um, on the bolt if it's black. Okay, so that's the first thing. Now you want to take your washer and you'll also notice that on the washer there is a curved side to it and a flat side. You want to take the curved side and put it down into the bolt and up against the head so that the flat side is now facing up in this position. So you want to do that with all of your bolts. Once that's all, all done, first thing you want to do is take your roller on a flat table you have your corners. Now I want to know, I want you I want to point out that these corners, if you didn't know, have six notches on one side of the corner. You can see this side does not have the notches and this side does. Each roller as you assemble the frames should have a notch on each uh, on each roller. So, I'm going to assemble with the notch facing into the roller. I'm going to take my bolt and I'm going to and tighten the bolt into the roller, like so. Okay, so now we have a notch facing into this roller. So the next corner, when we put this corner onto the other end of the roller, you want to put it in such a way that it does not have a notch. So you have a notch here, on this side, and no notch. Okay, so let's put a bolt into this side and hand tighten it again like so so again here's your roller here's your corner you have a notch attached on this side of the, of the roller on the opposite corner you do not have a notch you do not have the notches there so best thing I found to be the easiest is do both the short rollers first Again, hand tighten the bolts. No notch with notch. Okay, now that both of the short rollers have the corners on there, now we're going to place them down on the table. Take your long roller and start the assembly process. Insert it into this corner. Again, hand tighten the bolt into the roller. Take my other short roller with the corners on there. And I'm going to look over here and I'm going to notice that there are the notches on this side, which means I should not have a notch over here. So I'll look at how this is put together, and here is the corner without the notches. So I'll just place that into this end, and hand tighten the bolts into this side. Once that's in, take my last roller, and of course everything is already preset on this side. So all I have to do, insert bolt into this side and hand tighten the bolt into the last corner. Now that's how you assemble the frame. You first start by hand tightening the bolts into all the corners and as I pointed out you want to have a notch for every roller as shown here. A notch for this roller 
not just for this roller, not just for this roller, and not just for this roller. Now that's the correct way to properly assemble a frame. Now, let me just show you the incorrect way. I'm going to take this last bolt out. I'm going to take my Scripps Devices Industrial Torque Wrench. It's important that you use a torque wrench when you're assembling frames and not a ratchet. You're going to set your torque wrench for an M3 anywhere between 55 to 65 pounds, foot pounds. Okay, and that's indicated by here. Our torque wrench has a nice rubber grip. It has a nice small head here. It has a click button here for easy use, one-handed use. Okay, so this is the incorrect way to assemble the frame. And that's to put the bolt in and torque or tighten the frame. You can hear as I click, that's tightening or torquing the frame. If I do that, all the way around, if I tighten this up, I will show you that when you get to the very last corner, you're going to get this problem. You see how there's a big difference? There's a big distance here between this roller and this corner. The problem is that when you try to squeeze that together and insert the bolt, two things are going to happen. You're either going to end up stripping the thread inside this frame, the threads in here, or if you manage to do get it together, you're going to put so much force on this corner and the remaining corners that there would be a possibility that the corners may break. So that is the incorrect way to stretch or put together a frame. Now the reason why this is happening here is the unique design of the roller frame is that when you tighten all the bolts of the frame, it actually will cause the rollers to pre-camber outward. And the purpose of that, and this is great, the purpose of actually pre-bowing or pre-cambering the frame is so that it would once you put mesh on it and put tension, the tension which is going to be uh, the forces are going to be going inward towards the print area, it's going to minimize the inward bow or deflection of the frame. So by designing the corners in such a way that when the bolts are torqued, it will pre-bow or pre-camber your rollers out on all sides to compensate for the inward deflection or pre-bow. Okay? And so that would be, here's an example of a frame that's completely assembled. And you can see that there is, if you look at it, it is pre-cambered or pre-bowed. I will illustrate this by putting this level on top of this roller. And you can see if I put pressure on this side or the outside of the roller, that there is a gap right here on this side. So that means that the roller is actually curving outward or pre-bowing outward. And if I press push down on this side of the roller, you can see the distance or, or gap on this side of the frame now. This is inherently uh, designed into the frame, again for the reason of minimizing the inward deflection. So that is why it's important that when you're putting together a frame, you do not torque or tighten, fully tighten, all the bolts completely around. You want to just hand tighten it or snug it. Let me just loosen this frame up again. Loosen this frame up, hold the bolts, like so. I 
going down over me. Go to this back corner. So now, without any resistance, I can close up and insert the roller into the corner and put my last bolt in there without any stresses or forces to all the corners. Now at this point, to finalize the assembly, you can now take your torque wrench and just snug it or stop once you feel resistance. Once you feel resistance and the, and the uh, bolt can no longer turn, that's where you stop. You do that all the way around. It's quick and easy. What that does is it now closes up the corners to the roller. There you have it. That is the proper way of assembling an M3 frame. I hope this video.